Okay, I started recording. We continue. Okay. Uh, this is session number two. Uh, for the seed tester. Uh -huh, for the seed okay. tester. And I didn't talk about uh, cold RTP statistics. Mm -hmm. RTP statistics. It is, uh, <clears throat> in this case, it is for stream from cold, cold side to cooler mm -hmm. side uh, uh, I mean for, for this stream. Uh, so, cooler RTP jitter is what seed tester receives from the station, okay. and it is, it means mm -hmm. uh, um, at this point, uh, this point, and this jitter and uh, packet loss included includes what is transmitted by destination server mm -hmm. network. Uh, it is local area network area network in this case, and so it's and for uh, to from the call to caller, right? Yes. Yes, and it okay. it displays in CDR. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now we will test over internet, no, not local area network, but internet. Uh, mm -hmm. So my office PC will mm -hmm. make calls to uh my server in and neverland three dot trinity com and okay. uh, it, it's not just internet what what exactly means what, what's internet here we have uh, I have Cisco switch. Okay. And after that it goes um, to uh, P P P over Internet uh, LAN to WAN router. So okay. it, here is its local area network, mm -hmm. and the router connects to internet, and okay. it, it has uh, um, net network address translator, and okay. it has. Uh, Both internal IP address, mm -hmm. it is uh, zero not one. Okay. So packets go first to this router, and it converts it to uh, it sends it from a different IP address uh, yeah. from public IP. And mm -hmm. uh, packets go to the public server from from this uh, uh, public IP. These are different sub networks: local area and uh, wide area. Right? Wide, wide. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, and. I will connect to this server. Uh, Neverland. Okay, I'm connecting. Okay, this is your office. Uh, this is. This oh, is this uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. And I. I'll have similar um, the top on port number mm -hmm. number port number six 
I make another instance of Deep Tester. Deep Tester has a setting file. Uh, so it is very easy to make a copy uh, of Deep mm -hmm. Tester and Soft Switch. Uh, uh, just copy folder and edit settings file. Uh, okay. Edit and here you see settings. Yeah. This is port number, and I just okay. change it to six thousand and save it file changes. and uh, just r uh, run it. Is here I create shortcut. Mm -hmm. so six, and I run it. Okay, what what the difference in configuration uh, for? For the um, for the server, it has to send packets uh, to same public IP, and okay. uh, in SIP tester there should be a special configuration to make it send packets. SIP and RTP exactly back to caller IP. The same, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because in this test, I don't configure um, um, STUN, the uh, RAS song, song server. Okay. And uh, some other technologies, and they don't, uh, in practice, I don't see that they are widely used. Okay. And, uh, the problem is that uh, <coughs> when the server receives packet, mm -hmm. it, uh, it will see that uh, contact header uh, is set to local IP. Okay. Local. And this local IP is not accessible from internet. And, yeah, uh, that's why it I has to go back to the same way. Uh -huh. Okay. Symmetric, symmetric, zip equals one, and symmetric RTP equals one. It means that zip uh, tester on uh, the server will send zip, not mm -hmm. to address which is declared in contact header. Okay. Invite, but hmm. to source uh, IP address, same mm -hmm. way will be used, and same for RTP. Okay. Uh, and I, I will show, um, I will show the fields. Mm, okay. So it is running here on, on Netherlands server. Mm -hmm. I it's for incoming calls, right? Uh, for these are general settings uh, for both okay. incoming and outgoing. Uh, symmetric zip. Mm -hmm. I set it to one. This to one. <coughs> uh, this doesn't require a start, right? It will work. Require start, yes. And uh, what about the script? Incoming, incoming script, um, incoming call setting. Mm -hmm. I said um, this is script from previous to previous instance. I don't need this XML script. Uh, the incoming call handling scenario is defined mm -hmm. by GUI or XML. And okay. Yeah. In XML, it is possible to uh, enter complex scenarios. And in this session, I will describe only GUI. Okay, yeah. GUI is better for I accept um, 
calls injection probability I, I erase this custom script I mm -hmm. that and set delay before answering uh, I will not have any delay rejection probability zero accept call and play audio file or mm -hmm. uh, what So it's ready now, and mm -hmm. uh, I check settings operation mode, packet analyzer, I need packet analyzer, it was disabled, I enabled, to measure RTP yeah. quality. Okay, and I, uh, I make calls from this server going 10.6 calls to a different IP address or mm -hmm. it could be a host name. Oh, okay. In web wholesale domain names are not used. I, yeah, uh, IP IP is used mostly. IP are used. Uh, and yeah. And uh, I don't remember IP address, uh, of, but we can enter domain name. Never land. Yeah. Okay, and that's enough. The call is connected. Yeah. Yeah, just a single call, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, what? A single call, right? One call. Just one. Is created, yeah. Yes, only mm -hmm. one call is created. Uh, it is connected, and mm -hmm. uh, we see that it resolves the main name to this IP address. Mm -hmm. uh, invite. And uh, in contact header, it declares it, it's localized. Oh. It has two IP addresses. Uh, uh, one server can have multiple IP addresses, and okay. uh, it has both. ten dot six and ten dot sixty IP addresses. Uh, it has many adapters here. Okay, but this IP address is ignored. In contact header, okay. North and the 200 OK answer uh, connection signal. This signal mm -hmm. is sent to uh, to source IP address here. I said update GUI on timer. Uh, I removed this updating to remove load from CPU. Here I okay. up, uh, enable it again. Auto refresh of uh, in interface. Mm -hmm. Okay, in CDR we see this call. We see that it was received from um, this public IP. Yeah. And it sends 200k exactly to the same source IP address. Okay, so the call is complete, and mm -hmm. we see statistics. Um, looks pretty good. Looks good, and it goes over internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now we can uh, start more calls and. Uh, we see the results. See the results. For example, we test uh, fifty fifty channels. Uh, I click start. It generates slowly. I increase number of calls. 
second. Uh, we can also monitor network activity. Uh, open in task manager. We can monitor okay. network activity. Okay, fifty calls. Codec codec is G seven eleven select phones uh, codec the display codec codec G seven eleven the calls are connected. So so yeah. the, the test is running now and it mm -hmm. allocates bandwidth. Okay, and we will see the results of what happens on the server. Okay. Same, same thing. Bandwidth. This is small bandwidth. Uh, yeah. The capability of this server is about uh, they declare 250 megabits per second, but per second? Uh, okay. I, I have tested and it, it's not like that. Uh, packet loss happens mm -hmm. okay. about 50, 50 megabits. Okay, and uh, so the testing... Mm, how I would test it? I would run 50 channels, see the results, after that increase uh, set to 100, mm -hmm. uh, see the results, and uh, so on, until I get packet loss. Yes. So there is uh, not, no packet loss here, right? No packet loss. So far. Yeah, no no pa yeah. No. All, all zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to run it for maybe three days to see okay. uh, see the stability to see what happens uh, mm -hmm. on a chart in the report statistics here mm -hmm. to see uh, actual maximum packet loss it could be okay mm -hmm. right now but at night uh, or at peak hour there will be yeah. problems and packet loss when internet connection is used by uh, by the, the yeah, yeah. It will be overloaded. Oh, yeah. Cold, we see cold loss packet. Uh, you see very small packet loss. Oh, yeah. So we, we got some packet loss. Yeah, uh, this is a little bit, right? Yes, this is. Uh, mm -hmm. Below 1% one, one is acceptable. Acceptable. Uh, Okay, it looks good so far. Mm -hmm. Chart. Chart. Okay. It needs to run it for a long time to see good chart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Are you going to keep it running for like uh, uh, one, two days? And see the results. And see the results, yes. Yeah. 